Well, trading in your car for a new one is about to get more expensive. Starting January 1st, a new trade-in tax goes into effect. 13 News reporter Richard Bodie has more on what you need to know. If you're considering trading in your car, it could cost you. If they're trading in like a 2016 Cadillac Escalade with a $35,000 trade-in value, they're only going to get credit for $10,000 of that value. So they're going to be losing out on over $1,200, $1,300 in sales tax savings. Under the current law, you're only taxed on the difference between your trade-in and your new car. Starting January 1st, you'll be taxed on both the difference between your car and the new car and the value of your trade-in. The tax is part of Governor J.B. Pritzker's $45 million Rebuild Illinois Capital Plan. This year, Illinois introduced some new taxes in order to update infrastructure that Pritzker says Illinois is in desperate need of. But Rick Herter says he's afraid this tax will hurt business. People are going to be hanging on to their more expensive cars longer. As for consumers... Is that fair to consumers? No, because they're being double taxed on it. They've already paid tax on that vehicle when they originally bought it. Larry Dahl with the Illinois Automobile Dealers Association says people may think they can avoid the tax by crossing the border to a nearby state, but that's not the case. If you buy a vehicle in Wisconsin, you will be responsible to pay Illinois tax when you register in Illinois. When that happens, if it's valued at more than $10,000, you'll pay the same taxes if you bought from an Illinois dealership. So before the door closes on 2019, Shoppers may want to close the deal on their next car purchase. For your 13 Weather Authority, Richard Bodie, 13 News. An important note, heavy-duty trucks, pickup trucks, and utility vans are exempt from the new law. And if your trade-in is worth less than $10,000, you are also exempt from the tax.